How's business? Now, before you spit out a response, understand that this is a trickier question than you might think. Let's have ourselves some pocket-sized pep talk and not only find a variety of responses, but maybe we'll discover a dose of empathy while we're at it. A pocket-sized pep talk, the podcast that can help energize your business and your life with a quick, inspiring message. Now, here's your host, Rob Jollis. Have you ever made the mistake of asking someone, how's business? And after a rather over-the-top response, mumble to yourself, sorry, I asked. It's so easy to quietly fault that somewhat obnoxious, particularly arrogant, maybe a tad egotistical response. Well, I want to go to bat for these rats that can't seem to stop bragging about their success. I know these rats well, by the way, because I've fallen into this trap. I think I finally learned how to answer that loaded question, but it took about 10 years to figure out this dance. How's business? I guess we have two responses available. The first is the honest response. Gosh, I love a good honest answer. In 1993, I I left my cozy nest at Xerox, hung out my entrepreneur shingle, and went into business for myself. As with most startup businesses, business was tough. I scrambled for every training session, keynote, speaking gig I could find. My honest response to the question, how's business, would have been, I go to bed at night staring at the ceiling, shaking in my new business boots, and hoping tomorrow will be a better day. How's business for you? By the way, would you like to hire me to work with your company and teach them how to sell? That brings us to the second response, the one that's sometimes not so honest and may go over the line a bit. How's business? Why, it couldn't be better. I'll be in Las Vegas next week conducting a seminar, and I have a radio interview the following Friday, and I just landed my second Fortune 500 company as a client. I'm rolling big time. The funny thing is that I'm not sure which response I like more the one that sounds pathetic or the one that sounds conceited. So how the heck do you answer the question or market the response to how's business? It must be a delicate reply. And quite frankly, I take the time to practice the response. I believe it requires a healthy dose of honesty and well, let's just say imagination. How's business? Thank you for asking. I wouldn't say that this economy is a friend to the seminar business, but I would say that it's forced me to sharpen my tools, focus harder on my clients, and be innovative. In a sense, it's made me a much better speaker, and it's allowed me to create some real traction with my existing clients and the new ones that have come on board. Nothing in that statement is untrue. And yet, if you listen to it carefully, it allows for a significant amount of, let's call it wiggle room. That's how business is going for me. How's business for you? The next time you ask the question, have some compassion for the response you might end up hearing. Most people who actually want to stay in business do not want to advertise to their clients and prospects how difficult business is. Instead, they tend to err on the side of what might be perceived as arrogance. It's not arrogance. It's a difficult question to answer. I'd suggest practicing your answer to that question and practicing a little patience and empathy the next time someone goes a little over the top in positioning their response. Thanks so much for listening. If you enjoyed today's show, please rate and recommend it on iTunes, Outcast, or wherever you get your podcasts. You can also get more information on this show and Rob at Jollis.com.